Hey, I'm Dave from Discs Dyed by Dave, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to create your own lotion mixture, as well as acetone mixture, the quick and easy way. If you never created a lotion and dye mixture, or acetone and dye mixture, it's easier than you think, and it produces great results. The supplies I'll be using are minimal and readily available, and they are cocoa butter lotion, acetone, Prochemical powder disc golf dye, 4 ounce fine tip bottle, 2 ounce eyedropper bottle, measuring spoon, small funnel, syringe, lab mixture, totally optional but it helps get a thorough mix really fast. Check out the description for links to everything I just mentioned. Alright, let's head to the testing table. So the mixture ratio that I follow is on this chart. I will have it linked in the description for you. For the lotion painting, it's half a teaspoon to one teaspoon water to two ounces of lotion. Basically the same exact thing for acetone. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn on the heat to get the water to a very hot point. We're going to grab our dye, grab our bottle. These are four ounce bottles that have a fine tip on them. The bottles came with this nifty funnel. We'll put that in there. This bottle is four ounces, and I am going to put one tablespoon of dye in here. Scoop the dye. This is a half teaspoon measuring. So I'm gonna carefully put that in there. And I'm gonna put the second half teaspoon in there. Put that in there. I have a acetone cleaner container that I use to clean all my stuff with. So when I do a bunch of these, I clean them in between the dye so I don't contaminate everything. Close the lid on the dye so we don't get it everywhere. Clean this off. Clean off the funnel. What I like to use is a little Q-tip to get in there. Or if you have a pipe cleaner, that works as well. Now that we have the dye in there, we need to put in the water. So I am going to put two tablespoons of hot to near boiling water in this container. Grab my syringe, two tablespoons of water, and squirt that in there. Then I'm gonna put the lid on, cap on as well. I'm gonna grab my mixer, and I'm just gonna mix it for a little bit. Open up the container. And we will put the lotion in. And what I like to do is I like to squeeze the bottle, then squeeze in the lotion. And you want to leave a little bit of a air gap in the bottle so you can agitate the mixture so it's not completely full of lotion and dye. Put the cap back on. Put my little rubber cap on the tip. And I'm just going to give it an initial shake. Then I'll do a final mix with the mixer. And there you go. You have a lotion mixture ready to use for either your lotion beds or painting on discs. Now we are going to do our acetone mixture. So powder dye, a two ounce glass bottle with eyedropper built into it. Open up a powder, open up the jar, stick the funnel in there. For this, I'm only going to be putting a half a teaspoon of dye in here as this is a two ounce jar. One scoop of this, pour it right in. Got my dye, now I'm going to put one teaspoon of near hot water into the jar. Put the lid on and do it on the mixer for a few seconds. Doesn't take long. Again, you don't need this mixer, you can shake it by hand. It's just a faster way of doing it. Um, I got it on Amazon and I'll have the link in the description for that. So now that we have our water and dye mixture, open up the jar, then we will put our acetone in. Our bigger syringe. Put it in the jar. Leave a little space. This eyedropper's gonna take that up as well. Put our acetone back up. Put the lid eyedropper back on. And I'll give it one final mix. Mm -hmm. 
And there you go. That is how you create a powder dye and acetone mixture. And you can use this for spin dyeing, put in your glue beds, or wherever else you need a liquid dye mixture. If you found this content helpful, please give this video a like and consider subscribing so you never miss the latest and greatest disc dyeing videos.